Hello. I'd like to start by thanking the Library of Foreign Literature for providing me with this opportunity to speak to you as part of the We Are Together project. This has been a challenging and difficult year. The global pandemic of COVID-19 has cut life short, closed borders and caused huge economic and social damage. Our modern world, reliant as it is on the exchange of people, goods and ideas, has been quickly and radically reshaped. But we are in this fight against this awful virus together. The ties that connect our modern world have been stretched. I don't believe that they've been broken. Why? Because the desire to trade together, to experience each other's cultures and to solve the most difficult global problems still flourishes, albeit often digitally, even today. The challenges of 2020 are reminiscent of the time nearly 100 years ago when the Library of Foreign Literature was founded. Social, economic and cultural exchange was very limited and for most ordinary people, travel was a dream, not a reality. This library, the literature it housed and the imaginative programme of activity it hosted provided a crucial window on the outside world. It was also, for over a quarter of a century, home to the British Council. The Library supported much of what the British Council did in the 25 years following the end of the Soviet Union to connect the people of Russia with the UK through the arts, education and science and English language teaching and learning. That work continues from within the British Embassy. There are so many examples of the great things that Brits and Russians can do together. Recent standouts include the building of bridges between our institutions of higher education, joint scientific papers examining the impacts of climate change on the ecosystems of the Arctic, and in the sharing the diversity of our musical cultures through the UK-Russia Year of Music. Our history is closely entwined too. We recently celebrated a cornerstone of that shared history by remembering the veterans of the wartime Arctic convoys who supplied the Soviet Union with vital supplies to fight the Nazi invasion on the Eastern Front, whilst British and Allied forces battled Nazism in the skies over London, in the Mediterranean and elsewhere. The 75th anniversary of victory over fascism won at such terrible cost established the foundations for the rules-based international order which helps keep our world safe today. Just as the UK was at the centre of the post-war international settlement 75 years ago, we remain at the centre of global cooperation now. Three specific examples come to mind. We're leading the world in coordinating attempts to find, produce and distribute a vaccine against COVID-19. We'll host the 2020 Global Conference on Climate Change and as a centre of global finance, we will ins help ensure that the recover recovery from the giant economic shock of the last few months is sustainable and lays the foundation for green growth in the future. One of my objectives as Ambassador is to encourage the development of the relationships and connections between British and Russian people, experts and institutions that enable us to continue to take a coordinated, cooperative approach to these immense challenges. A mutual appreciation for culture can help to encourage the connections that makes that cooperative approach a reality. Within this, literature has a special role. I know that reading foreign literature played a vital part in my own discovery of the possibilities and fascinations of the wider world and led me to my career in diplomacy. I'm sure that the work of the Library of Foreign Literature, including this We Are Together project, will support the building of more connections and more of the togetherness that our world needs so badly. Thank you for watching.